Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And um, I have uh, some mouth speak to talk about that's uh, taking place in the eighth chakra. It's like um, a density or impurity or lines crossed feeling above the head, uh, about three inches above the head in the eighth chakra. And it, it, it sounds like this to me, it sounds, um, may she go on and on, may she go on and on, may she go on and on, very sato voce. And um, <clears throat> sometimes I hear it, if I listen in on other people's eighth chakras, if they're men, I hear may he go on and on like that. It depends on the gender. And this particular malware was uh, designed, consciously designed, to um, to increase the soul wounding of other people that uh, that are considered like unworthy or inferior or uh, evil or like that. So it's an attempt. Uh, it's a strategy of the demon realm that is being propagated through the human auric field <clears throat> and it has to do with that heresy that I talked about that fallacy of belief called the Lords of Karma this is not the um, TV show or like the movie or whatever that is it's a it's um, it's the notion that um, that we should do things to other people by way of punishment for their own good as if that will help them so what happens when when another person uh, consciously repeats or unconsciously repeats uh, is this this mantra, this unmantra, you know, this unsacred mantra, like profane mantra, um, in with the intention of placing it in another person's eighth chakra, is that whatever uh, dispute or upset or anger or whatever uh, negative emotion they're involved in. Uh, on the astral plane or on the physical plane is magnified and increased and continues instead of being like dis dispelled with the with the power of God's grace. So, um, so I've been trying to think. You know, I've been thinking maybe there'll be an activation of light for to to reduce that to opposite. You know, to eliminate that. And uh, in the meantime, I've been trying various techniques. For instance, I've tried imagining the soul field, the eighth chakra of the person who's saying it. And uh, first I tried using the same technique, uh, the same mouth speak with them. And that got them like involved in their own soul wounding. But on second thought, I don't really want to be involved in anybody's soul wounding as, a, as an agent. So I stopped that almost immediately. So then the very next thing I tried was uh, imagining that I was speaking inside the eighth chakra of the person who was like consciously or unconsciously promoting this this eighth chakra mal malware transfer and uh, I said uh, I will laugh and laugh. I will laugh and laugh because someone on the astral plane suggested that I use humor. Well, so this had the uh, unintended and surprising result of reducing the other party to rubble because uh, it, it got them involved in a terror of transgressing against societal expectations. On the other hand, uh, it, it didn't hurt. Uh, it stopped them from hurting my auric field. But on the other hand, I'm looking for a technique that just like neutralizes the mal speak without like causing any distress to anybody else. One thing that I've tried in the past that works if you can be in a quiet place is when I notice that malware's mouth speak is happening in the eighth chakra, I just place my attention on it, and after a while, it seems to calm down, die down, and go away. And that stops like astral stories with a negative tinge to them and so forth. Uh, so that's one way to do it that won't hurt anybody else, but it does take time to, to accomplish it. I have the feeling that the true solution, the best, like optimal solution for this mouth speak, uh, will be found in the near future. So. I'll keep my eyes open and if I have any updates about 
what might be best, I'll let you know.